Alright, bonjour, bonjour Shopify world. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and in this video, you're gonna see how to jump into your code and add a sticky menu. That's basically what we're going to do. So let's not waste any more time and jump straight into it. Actually, yes, let's one little side note here. Below in the description, you will have a link to the full code uh, doc that uh, where all the code is written. So you don't have to write the code from scratch. You can just click the link below and you'll have the full walkthrough documentation with the code that you can copy paste. I'm going to be copy pasting the exact same code. All right, so welcome. Um, this is our store. Actually, let's start off by showing you how it looks like right now. So the menu should not be sticky. We're going to scroll down here. And indeed, the menu does not follow us, as you can see. So, OK. Um, Let's jump straight into it. We're going to go to online store and here is our, uh, our theme. By the way, if you're wondering about the speed score, I made a different video about speed score where I explain what it is, how to get better ones or worse ones and what you have to do about it. But that's a side note. Uh, this is so our live team. What we're going to do before we do any coding changes always is pretty simple. We're going to make a duplicate of this. Now, some people have not done this, have followed one of my YouTube uh, videos on how to code and they didn't make their duplicate and they made an error and then you're stuck. So this is absolutely number one is to make sure you do a backup and also by working on this version right here, we're going to make sure that we're not affecting any of our life customers uh, experience. So if we're changing something and just at that time, someone is adding something to the cart, it might not work. Well, if we're working on the backup team, no problem. We can do whatever we want change and it's not going to affect the live visitors. Okay. So once we made that copy, we will go into actions and it's time to jump into the code. So click edit code right here. Okay, so from the navigation right here to the left, you're going to scroll all the way down to assets right here and you're going to click on it and you're going to go to team.scss.liquid. Perfect. So there is this huge team file that opens here. SCSS is the the code that makes your store pretty. So it's the colors, it's it's the fonts, it's things like that that are basically in uh, SCSS files. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the very end of this file, all the way at the bottom. We're going to make sure we're at the very end. So not, not here, not here, really the last possible line to make sure there's nothing after it. We're going to hit enter a couple of times. Make sure that new lines are created. That way we know we're at the very end. And we're going to uh, paste the code that is provided in the step-by-step -step guide in the link below. So um, let me just show you what that looks like. We're going to go right click, paste. And so this is the code that should have been pasted. It starts with um, this little hashtag pound sign here, search drawer, and then it ends uh, right here with two closing brackets. So um, that's what you need. Make sure you have those two closing brackets and then you click on save. You can just save it once, no need to save it twice. So the asset is saved, fantastic. All right, step number three, let's go to your team.js file. So again, make sure here on the very left, scroll all the way down to assets and then go to team.js. Again, go to the very bottom of this file and then just paste the code that you have in step three in the document. So let's do some extra lines here that we create. Make sure that you're at the very bottom and then go into the doc and copy paste the uh, code that you see in step three. It starts with a function. So we paste it right here, function header size, and it ends again with a semicolon with two brackets and a semicolon. That's how you know you have the right one. All right, save right here. And so now it should be working. So let's go back to online store and let's see if it works. So we go to actions and we click on preview. And normally the menu should be 100% sticky now. So let's test that out, scroll to the bottom. And indeed, as you can see, the menu follows us. If we go to a product page, it should still be sticky and exactly the menu follows us now uh, for the pro developers out there 
um, that want to get better at development. If, if that's you, the CSS code that we have added in, it's better to add it in the sections that talk specifically about the header instead of just slapping it to the back. Make sure to comment your code well as well. But that's more for the pros among you. Um, otherwise, this works perfectly great. There's just one thing left to do, and that is to go to the team. Now we're happy with it. We've tested it. Um, so we go to actions and we click on publish. It's going to ask us, are you sure you want to make this team live? We're absolutely sure. Let's publish it. And there you go. The team is published. So if we go to the live version of our store, we should have a sticky uh, nav bar now. Let's see. There you go, it sticks. So that's how we know it works. I hope this video was, uh, that you got some value out of it. Make sure to check out our other videos. We talk about app reviews, we talk about general Shopify strategy, and we have more coding uh, videos as well. Make sure to subscribe, it means a lot to me. It costs you nothing, and it's a game changer on my side. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in another video. Ciao.